Interestingly, the layout of the dashboard remains very familiar with the previous generation model. There are clear revisions made across the cabin, but the cockpit and center stack with the top-mounted air vents have the same general layout as before, making it look a bit like the CRV. The instrument cluster is completely new this time, with two analog gauges plus a colored multi-info display in the middle. The multifunction steering wheel looks chunkier with a squarish center boss, and the infotainment display is a small 7-inch unit with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. Other new features include remote engine start, walk-away auto lock, center armrest for the first and second row seats, and charging sockets for all three rows. The feeling of comfort while driving is now also supported by a leather handrest between the front seats. The position of the handrest on this car feels just right. Because there are some cars whose front handrest is too low or too backward, but not on the all-new Honda Bridge V. Meanwhile, the right elbow can lean against the curve of the door trim, which also happens to be covered with a special leather material for this section. The rest, door trim is still dominated by plastic materials. So is the dashboard. However, for the dashboard there is a little leather on the front passenger side which is combined with a piano black color. The instrument panel design of this car is new with the addition of a TFT screen in the middle. While the steering wheel is filled with audio steering buttons on the left side and cruise control and Honda sensing functions on the right. For cars in the BRV class, the majority of owners still drive it alone. Therefore, the treat behind the steering wheel deserves a lot of attention. Starting from the entry access. Although now the BRV is taller, the interior floor height is still reasonable. Not as high as one might feel on the rush. In the Prestige variant, the seats are made of leather as well as the steering wheel. When in the driver's seat, the sitting position is relatively low for the size of the LSUV unless you set the seat at maximum height. Overall, the all-new Honda Bridge V has a 7-seater passenger capacity. One of the advantages of the middle row of this car is the presence of three adjustable headrests. This is not owned by Xpander Cross and XL7. In this latest generation, the second row of BRV seats are also equipped with handrests. Just like the two rivals. It's just Rush that doesn't have this feature. Apart from this, the middle seat of the all-new Honda Bridge V can be adjusted back and forth plus recline settings. Headroom is not a problem even for an editorial crew who is 180 centimeters tall. Meanwhile, the legroom is quite reasonable. For the comfort aspect, there is a double blower AC which is mandatory for three-row bench cars. Passengers in the middle seat also get a 12-volt power outlet whose position is on the center console. Then each passenger also gets a three-point seat belt. In this review of the all-new Honda Bridge V, we don't forget to try the feeling of sitting in the third row. Access to the back seat is relatively easy. Because the middle seat can be folded with just one pull of the lever whose position is on the side of the seat. The position of the third row seats cannot be adjusted back and forth. But fortunately, it can still recline even though the fall is not too much. For the available space, you can see for yourself in the photo above. The member of our editorial team in the video is 180 centimeters tall. The feeling of sitting in the back row is still helped by the adjustable headrest. Passengers in the back seat also got a 12-volt power outlet near the window on the right. Passengers in the back seat also each get a 3-point seat belt. In this generation, finally the all-new BRV trunk can be folded flat on the floor. Competing with the practicality that was previously offered by its rivals, namely the Xpander Cross and XL7. To fold it, the user just pulls the rope behind the third row bench. If you want more relief, just fold the middle row as well. Then this car will provide a very large cargo space with a relatively flat surface. The Honda Bridge V has clearly changed a lot from the previous generation. 
The aspect of comfort increases and the practicality also increases. About the design that becomes more elegant depending on the taste of the person who judges. However, what is certain is that the all-new Honda Bridge V provides many advantages. Moreover, now this LSUV is also equipped with the Honda Sensing Active Safety feature. 